Now a couple things. Whoa, dudes. Well, this area was pretty well uh, held off. I know I want the fang, but I kind of want them dead. Now for you. There you are. Yee-hee! Okay, where are you going? Nope! Generally safer on them if you, um, in when they lose their color, if instead of using the power slash, you just smack them. They get a good amount of life to them, though. And with that, the curse has been completely removed here! Eh, warthogs. Piggy, piggy. Hey, buddy. And just like the other guys, you can feed these. Feed, feed, feed. I don't know what they want. Would they want fish or meat? Let's give them some meat. Aw. Fish. Boo! All I have otherwise is herb. Herbs. Well, they are kind of running around the uh, plants there. I don't have what they want. Fine, be that way. I'll come back later. Anything else I can do here? We did that. There's, uh, let's see here. We got that, we got that, and yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. Onwards! Oh, this tree again! Now what we can do with these trees now... Now that we have Bloom... Knock him out, and bloom! Evil be gone! All kind of stuff falls from him, and we get fruit. And it was good. Now, I'm speeding through these because I know what to do, and he's just explaining what to do. We make it bloom, though! Now, we can bloom by uh, drawing a circle in most cases, but this one we just have to draw until we run out of ink and see what happens. Fill it with flowers! Let's see, we have traveling tips and green sprout tips, so I'm not going to bother uh, reading them since I know what they are, and I'll explain it when I get to them. One more tree! What's up? What's up? Hey, buddy. Whoa! Okay, how about throwing that thing at me? When you see the bright orange thing with the purple glow around it, you'll know it's a, it's a coming. A couple enemies have projectiles like that, so it's kind of important to keep in mind. And I got a potato. Now, if you go up here... You have a little glowing spot, just like the one we saw back in town. Clover! Which you can make bloom. Yay! Now there's still more to do. We've got a couple more trees to worry about. For the most part, I'm going to off-screen a lot of this. There's also these black trees here, though, which you can make bloom as well. It's stuff from that! Ha-ha! I'd be here forever if I actually wanted to clear up every tiny little thing, so... You know what's there, I'll off-screen the rest. Away with ye! Away with ye! Both of you dead yet? How about you? No, wait, you're, on, you're not dead. Now you are. And now I get Fang! And you are mean, I don't like you, and go away. Hooray, dead dudes! And with that, 
The island can come back for reals this time. There's another green spot, which means there's another clover. I'll go ahead and make this tree bloom while I'm here. And monkeys! Monkey! What do you want? Herbs? Aw. Meat, fish. You want seeds, don't you? Whoops, I picked them up. Monkey. Now we already got that one. Next up, we can get what's across the thing. Hoyo! Digging tips. Also not terribly important. More digging, though. More clovers. More me failing. Now let's see if I can't get back without drowning myself. There we are. Oh! Now to get over here, I know there's something buried here. There it is. Dig up a clover here. Now there's something actually more important over here that I'm here to dig up. Well, maybe it's more important. I don't know. But it's over here somewhere. I can't especially see it, though. It's over here somewhere. I know it is. It isn't there. Or there. Where are you? Come on. You know what? Heck with it. I'll dig you up later. Dang! Also of note, if you jump in the water, there's the little circle thing again. It runs out, you drown. Bad things happen. Back into the field, though! I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, he's telling us about the logbook, which we can look into and figure out where we're supposed to go, just in case we load a save data and, uh, forget. If what he says isn't terribly important, I'll skip by it. Hey, it's you again. Whoops! Didn't want to pick you up. I wonder where he ran off to. Nope. We need to reborn this land! So, let's see here, where are we going? To the tree! Bloom! Osaki's tree. With every guardian sapling we bring back, Sakuya regains some strength. Sakuya wasn't even strong enough to speak last we saw her. 
Maybe she's feeling better now. I do not intentionally say something before they say something. I'm voicing my thoughts. Yisun just needs to shut up from time to time. Now our next goal is to go back to town! But first, if we run around this area... I'm not gonna explain fleeing battle terribly much right now. But if we run around this area, we can uh, do a couple neat things. For one, this dude has a shop open! We can talk to him and buy stuff. Other things of note, I don't know how much... Well, I do know how much time I have left in the video, actually, and it's very little. You'll see these gates. If you go through the gate, it triggers a series of battles. Clear all the battles, and the whole area will be reborn! I'll cover those next time, while I'm thinking about it. There's also a guy right up here. I guess I can talk to him now. The, um, nature boy back there was mentioning how he got caught in the cursed zone. He hoped he was all right. He's had a, he's had a curse put on him. Hey, we've picked up a couple of those. It's all yours. I'm probably never going to use it. And with that, he's off at a hundred miles an hour. There's a number of um, various mini games throughout the game where you race either him a bunch of times or you race him and his family a bunch of times, who all happen to be mailmen. Now, there's still more to cover here. There's a couple of really fun things to cover here, and yet another gate over that way. And I kind of wanted to talk some about Isun's origins in mythology, since he's yet another mythological character as well. I don't really have time for that, though. If I remember, I'll talk about it at the beginning of next time. Until then... Get my five things. Until then... So long, everyone.